Hey everyone, it's Lacey Branch, event stylist and coordinator in St. Louis, Missouri. Thanks so much for tuning into our video blog for this installment. Last time we talked about what you can wear on your wedding um, today, and so in this installment I think we're going to talk about what to do on your wedding day. Thanks to everybody who's written in. Um, you've told us some of your questions that you wanted addressed, um, and basically this this situation is going to be based around um, traditions, things that normally happen um, at weddings, and should you or should you not do them. So um, here we go. So basically starting um, at the beginning, uh, should you have your wedding um, at a church? Should you, um, you know, have a receiving line? Should you toss the bouquet? Those are the kind of questions that we're going to touch base on today. Uh, and what, what we usually tell our clients is that um, as far as where to have your ceremony, it, it should really be specific to you and your fiance and what your beliefs are. If you're if you're very religious, if you have a church that you attend all the time, then of course that would make total sense um, to have your wedding at, at your church. Um, many of our clients, though, um, have different uh, different faiths, different denominations, so um, sometimes that presents a challenge. Um, so that's a whole another segment um, as far as like ceremonies go, but. Um, today we're really just going to talk about, um, you know, some of the things that, that are okay to do. So um, as far as the ceremony, um, let's say you've chosen a church, let's say you've chosen a ballroom, regardless, um, should you or should you not have a receiving line? And really, um, this, this is really important as, as to being the host of the event. Do you want to greet your guests and thank them for making the trip um, to the wedding, things like that? Some churches allow it, some don't. Um, depending upon your guest count, it can take quite a bit of time um, in the back of the church. But I, I really advise my clients um, generally to do this if it if it if it really means something to them. Do they really want to greet their guests? So I advise you know if you're not going to do a receiving line, then you definitely need to go around at your reception and greet the guests and thank them for coming because. Um, it is important, and especially the older generation, they, they kind of expect it, and it sometimes can be construed as rude if you don't personally thank um, the, the guests individually. However, receiving line sometimes is awkward for people, um, awkward for the guest date um, that may or may not actually know you, and if they do know you, they may not know your fiancé, and they definitely don't know your whole wedding party, so why are we having a receiving line with everybody, everybody in the wedding party? So if, I advise if you do do a receiving line, Keep it, keep it to just you and your fiance, or just you and possibly your parents, whoever it is that's important, um, that it's important to them. Um, otherwise, like I said, you could greet your guests um, either at your cocktail hour if you're doing that, um, or you can greet your guests um, at dinner, uh, walk around and thank them, and 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 it's it's much less awkward and and um, in that regard. The other question that we get often is, do I have to toss my bouquet? Do I have to um, do the garter? And really the answer to this, there's no right or wrong answer. It's really, do you want to? That's really what I tell my clients all the time. Do you want to throw your bouquet? Do you want to have, do you want to stop your party and actually have the, the formality of that? And it also boils down to, you know your guests. Are there a lot of single people that are going to get out on the dance floor? As people are getting older now, when they're getting married, um, they're not getting married as young as, as they used to. Um, some people have smaller guest lists that actually have single people. So let's say there's two or three um, bridesmaids or guests that you're trying to force to go out on the dance floor, and then it's awkward for them because they are single, and now it's awkward because everyone's staring at them. Um, the same goes for the garter. So really, I just tell people, you know your guests. You know... Um, what it is that, that that they would want, and so please do not, by any means, feel you have to throw the bouquet. Um, a good alternative that we have had is where they have done a dance. They have everyone um, get on the dance floor, and um, based on how many years they've been married, they ask them to go ahead and sit down. So let's say if you've been married three years or less, sit down. If you've been married six years or less, sit down. If you've been married ten years or less. And it goes on and on until the longest married couple is still standing on the dance floor. And then the bride um, can present the, the, the what would be normally the toss bouquet to the, um, to the couple that's still standing. And it's, it's always really cute, and it makes for a great picture. So there's all kinds of alternatives. Just think outside the box. As you're going to hear me say, video blog after video blog, think outside the box. 
Um, you don't have to do what your sister did. You don't have to do what your aunt did. This is your wedding, and I think it's important um, to do it your way. However, you do need to take your your parents and your guests into you know into your thoughts um, when making the decision. But feel free to um, you know not have a garter toss, not have any of that, and I think you'll be totally okay. So um, I think that's pretty much it. As far as some of the other things that we could get into would go way longer than you want to sit here and listen to this video vlog. So I think that we'll kind of break things up. But definitely, uh, oh, one thing I did want to say. Um, one of the questions was, do I have to have a ring bear or do I have to have a flower girl? And again, the answer is you can have a flower girl and ring bear if you want to. You cannot have a flower girl and ring bear if you want to. So again, I know I'm not really giving you a yes or no, but I, I'm letting you know that you have the license to do what it is you want to do. Um, what I can say is unless you have any really well-behaved kids that want to be ring bearers and flower girls, um, I advise you to kind of think about that. Um, a lot of the churches, um, I don't know where you're watching this video blog from, but St. Louis, um, we have a lot of big Catholic churches here, and obviously for liability, you can't toss petals anymore. So really, the little flower girl doesn't toss petals. She's not really a flower girl anymore. She really just will hold, um, you know, a small bouquet or, or whatnot. So again, if it boils down to, um, let's say you have children or, you know, so, like your sister, your niece and nephew or, or something like that, and they're super close with you and they're, you know, of age where they understand how to walk down the aisle, not a toddler, um, then I say go for it. But if you if you're just trying to scrounge to find someone's kid <laughs> just randomly to have as a ring bearer or flower girl, I would advise you know don't do it. You don't have to do it. Um, so those are kind of the things that we're going to talk about today. Those are the questions that we had um, from our viewers that wrote in. So I really appreciate all the feedback, and I hope that this helped. Um, feel free to email us or you know um, tweet us or you know Facebook us and any of the other questions that you have. And um, so we're going to try to be doing these blogs on Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, don't don't hold me to that, but I, that's what we're going to shoot for. So um, I thank you for tuning in. Um, and on our next installment, we're going to talk about um, setting your budget for your wedding, the big B word. So um, till next time, we'll talk to you. And thanks again for tuning in to um, our video blog. Have a great day.